Kyrie, why did I receive a phone call from your teacher earlier? I don't know. She said she told you to stop talking while she was teaching and you told her to shut her fat neck having ass up and to go eat a fucking Snickers. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Mama, he gives Miss Platypus problems all the time. You'll regret that. Brian, did I ask you for any extra information? Kyrie, you better start talking or I'm going to get in that ass. Mama, there was no reason for me to say what I said. I am so sorry. There's nothing I can say to justify me disrespecting that lady. As punishment, I give you my phone and I won't be playing my game for a week. Don't let it happen again. It won't. Hell no, nah, mama. Hell no. Nah. Beat his ass. Who the fuck are y'all talking to like that? Mama, give me a second. I'm still trying to process this. All right. So solve this mystery. I asked to come home to no dishes in my sink and there are three of you. So I just knew someone would comply. But I come home and there are dishes in my sink. The question is, why? Go. Mama, it's simple. It wasn't me or Brian's turn. It was Savant's. Who came up with this turn shit? It wasn't a part of my terms and conditions. Well, Mama, I thought it'd be fair because there's three of us. But Mama, no problem. I watched them now because we're trying to go to the mall this weekend. Okay, solve this riddle and you can go to the mall this weekend. There are three boys and one sink full of dishes. Out of all three, which one spotted the dishes? We all saw them, Mama. It was just Savon's turn. So you knew what might happen if I saw them and still didn't take initiative regardless of whose turn it was. All three of you are grounded. Get the fuck out of my kitchen. Mama, before you say anything, that's not mine's or Savon's. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I asked anyone a question. You didn't, but please stop talking. I'm very upset at the moment. I do not wish to get physical just yet. I'm just going to ask, whose is this? It's not ours, Mama. So then it's mine's. I wish it was because I can't get shit with y'all's asses here. Somebody better tell me why Trojan's ass is in my house. And I mean now. Mama, it's not ours. Okay. Kyrie. Oh, shit. Yes, ma'am. Do you know who this belongs to? I do, actually. It's mine's. I brought it home from school and put it on a banana for educational purposes. Damn it. I really wanted to fuck y'all up. Next time, though. How much did that just cost us? Everything. Okay, so today I am a human lie detector test and be advised as your mother, I will know when there is deception. Brian, you're first. What were you doing last night? I was on my game. Deception detected. Kyrie, what were you doing last night? Minding my business. Inconclusive. Try again. Watching Moesha on Netflix. No deception detected. Brian, let's give it another go. Mama, I was on my game. Deception detected. It's okay. Breathe. We'll try again in a moment. Savon, what were you doing last night? I was on the phone with a girl. Deception. I was with a girl last night. No deception detected. We will discuss that matter at a later date. Brian, I was on my game, mama. Deception. If you were on your game, which I confiscated last week, that means you went in my room to retrieve it. I wrecked your car, mama. You don't get tired of me fucking you up. You know what? I'm not even going to touch you. I'm taking everything out of your room. No phone, no TV, just white walls and silence. Do you understand? Do you fucking understand? Yes, ma'am. Fuck out of my kitchen. Mama, are you approachable? Go ahead. As you know, I'll be turning 18 next week and there will be some changes in this house. My curfew is no longer 10 p.m. It's 2 a.m. I will no longer be responsible for your other two sons when you're not here. I am grown and responsible for myself. I will no longer ask you to go places. I will just be telling you. If you have an issue with me, you can no longer put your hands on me because it then will be considered assault. Is that all? Yep. Well, then I too will be making some changes. Since you will be an adult, you are now responsible for getting yourself to and from school. I don't give rise to adults. Also, I cook for children, not adults. You'll need to get a job. I'll need rent money and light bill money. As for your curfew, you will not be able to gain access to my home after 10 p.m. Me and my children will be sleeping. 
Where you went is where you will stay. As for me putting my hands on you, as an adult, I will now throw hands with you. And because I am a petty mother, I'll call the cops after and tell them a grown-ass man just put his hands on me. Sounds good? We have a deal? Mama, I'm depressed. You said you're depressed? Yeah. Are you going to ask me why? Humor me, Brian. I don't really have that many friends at school. I can't talk to Savon when he's with his friends, so I end up sitting by myself. I'm not in any sports, so the girls there don't even look at me. That's why you're depressed? Let me get this straight. You're an 11th grader who makes straight A's, has a four-year scholarship waiting, you're wearing clean clothes, you live in a clean house, and you're well taken care of with a bright future ahead of you. And you in my kitchen talking to me about these little bitches at school not looking at you because you don't play sports? I'm 100% sure these are some hoes with no morals or aspirations in life. As for you not having that many friends, you write about the wrong shit. Let me tell you what you need to be worried about. Me seeing you start to lose focus and fuck up your grades because of this little bitch ass crisis you having. I'm going to become your new depression. Now get the fuck out of my kitchen talking to me about you depressed. Boy, if you don't go sit down and study for that test you about to take tomorrow, and I want nothing more but an A on that, or there's something else you're going to be depressed about. Mrs. Jackson, thank you for taking the time to meet for this parent-teacher conference. I feel it is long overdue. I'll get right to it. Kyrie interrupts my class. He talks about my hairline when confronted. I've had to send him to the office only for him to come right back with the same attitude. He is very dis- Talk. Interrupts your class. Me asking for a pencil? Talking about your hairline? Don't recall doing that. Coming back from the office with the same attitude? Yes, because you just interrupted my education by sending me to the office for asking for a pencil. Kyrie, you're lying and dis- Address me, not my child. All right, let's address his lies and disrespect. What is your action plan on correcting his behavior? Mr. Rushcock, all I'm getting from this meeting is you've been harassing my son because he asked for a pencil. He takes eight classes and you're the only teacher complaining. Where are the other seven teachers? They feel it's a waste of time and I'm starting to understand why. Mama, he also makes me stand up in class because he thinks I'm falling asleep. This conversation is now graduated to a meeting with the principal. I guess y'all want to act brand new because y'all got a bigger house than the rest of us. Y'all still ain't shit. You talking awfully a lot of shit from my brand new installed carpet. As a matter of fact, take your shoes from Payless off, please. Fuck you in this carpet. Y'all so fucking uppity. I told my mama not to bring me over here. We told our mama not to let her. Last time you were over here, we accumulated some roaches. Brian, I will fuck you up. Hmm, that has to be the virgin and you talking. We both know your bitch ass couldn't fuck shit. Your mama's a bitch. <laughs> Call my mama another bitch. Call her another bitch. Uh, Tamika, what's going on? Mama, it was tragic. His face fell into Kyrie's fist. No, that's not what happened. You're right. I forgot to mention you wanted to play truth or dare and dared us to pull our pants down. No, Aunt Tamika, that's not what happened. Evan, I don't know what y'all do at Charles' house, but I don't play that shit here. Aunt Tamika, that's not true. Leave this door open, Brian. Why weren't you in seventh period today? I skipped class to go off campus with my friends. Interesting. You have three options, choose one. <coughs> Hand over your keys. Next. Why'd you miss fourth period? My mom was in the bathroom. I ate a chimichanga and it didn't sit right with my stomach. Choose your options. Mama, they're all the same options. Oh, yep, they are. Which means you must be lying. So as you know, your brother has decided to conjure up a child. No, mama. No! I knew it. I knew out of all of us, he was gonna be the first one. Mama, please tell me you whooped his ass. Oh, y'all know I handled it. Okay, good, mama. And you ain't ever got to worry about me and Brian doing something like that. For real, mama, we ain't, we ain't stupid like that. That's good to hear. So I guess we can go back to our rooms? No. As you both know, I like tying up loose ends. I'm having a hard time believing that the both of you knew nothing about this. But mama, we didn't. The next lie will result in me fucking both of y'all up. Brian knew, mama. 
Really, Kyrie? How did you know he knew Kyrie? So, Brian, I guess me being in the shower was the perfect opportunity for you to come and try and start an argument with me because, you know, I couldn't defend myself. But I'm out now. So what's up? I asked you to turn your speaker down because it was loud as fuck. Hey, Brian, I need your tone and your body language to match that energy you had 15 minutes ago when I was in the shower because you were mad aggressive. If you let me finish, you missed opportunity for adoption. I asked you to turn your speaker down. You refused. End of discussion. Hey, what did you say you was going to do when I said I wasn't turning it down, Brian? You said you was going to beat my ass when I got out, right? I'm out. So what's up? I'm hearing a lot of talking and not enough swinging. Oh, yes, sir. Stop all that slap boxing. Mama, what the fuck? Mama! I have a collect call from Brian Jackson. To accept the call, please press one. Mama? Mom. Where are you calling me from, Brian? Mama, I was with some friends after school, and the guy who was driving us, he... Well, Mama, I didn't know the car was stolen. I'll repeat the question since you are hard of hearing. Where are you calling me from? Jail, Mama. I'm sorry. Jail? That's weird. You told me you were staying after school for some tutoring classes. Mama, please. They said I can go home because my story checked out. So I'm innocent, but they need a parent to come get me. Are you sure you want to come home tonight? Yes. Okay. So let me tell you what's going to happen when you come home. I'm going to beat your ass until you have no ass left. And then I'm going to ground you until there is no ground left. Or you can stay there and call me tomorrow during business hours. I'll stay here. Awesome. Have a good night. Okay. So mama, I cleaned my room. I cleaned my bathroom. I cleaned the guest bathroom. I did all my homework. I washed dishes and I folded all my clothes. I already cut the grass and the neighbor's grass. Yeah. What do you want? To go to the movies with my friend. There's a dish in my sink. Okay, so when I'm done, can I go? Where did you put the lawnmower? In the garage? You are not about to have my garage smelling like gasoline. Go put it in a shed. Mama, we don't have a shed. Go make me one. Oh my God. And then you can come back and wash this coffee cup. And that spoon. Today is a new day. I'm not sure what y'all were used to before, but Get unused to it. Y'all are out of control having babies, catching STDs, having a smart ass fucking mouth. It stops today. And as long as I'm here, there will be order in this fucking house. Do I make myself clear? Kyrie, activate code 86. Did you just try to grab me, Greg? Did you just tell me to bend over, Greg? I don't want to bend over, Greg. Greg. Let go of Get me. Out of my brother. Let go, Greg. Greg, let go. <laughs> <laughs> Did we make ourselves clear? <laughs> is there a reason all three of you are in my kitchen right now? Well, Mama, Christmas is approaching and you haven't really asked us what we wanted for Christmas yet. I don't know what type of mother y'all think I am, but I'm never asking to spend some money. But I am traditional, so what do you want? Well, all three of us want our own PS5. Three PS5s for my obedient sons. Savon, you ain't getting shit but some Pampers and some formula. <coughs> Kyrie. Yes, mama. You ain't getting shit. Brian will be the only one getting a PS5. If I'm not getting no PS5, ain't nobody getting no PS5. Brian, tell mama how you opened up a credit card in her name. Jesus. I love when y'all snitch on each other. It saves me a lot of money. Brian, go bring me that credit card and my belt. So, Brian, where's Kyrie? 
He's sleeping. How long y'all mama leaving y'all over here? Until she gets off from work. Where's Savon's baby? Y'all don't want to go play outside or something? We have a park up the street. Fuck all that. I'm trying to catch a fade with Kyrie since he thinks he's the biggest and baddest in his family. We'll see about that. <laughs> Dylan, if I were you, I would stop. I cannot help you if you get yourself in a situation. Oh, you won't need to do nothing. I got that. Man, please. I ain't scared of Kyrie. I'll beat his ass. I want to see that. I want to see that. I was just... Shut your bitch ass up, Dylan. Get up. Get up, Dylan. Get up. Kyrie, you're not going to touch my... Try and stop me, bitch. Try and stop me. Mama, we need to talk to you about your new boyfriend. Excuse me? You let this man live here rent-free, and you let him eat up all our food. Oh, and what do y'all do? He's a grown-ass man, mama. Savon, you are now 18 with a child of your own, still living in my house rent-free and unemployed. Mama, he stays on his game all day. What grown-ass man at the age of 40 is playing Fortnite with 12-year-olds? Why are y'all in my business? Well, let's talk about your business. Your business likes to shit in our bathroom and leave his booty residue on our toilet seat. Listen, this is my house, okay? And if I want to bring a man up in my house, I can do that. Y'all's asses don't pay shit here. I have lost count of the little period smelling bitches y'all done snuck in my house. I'm not asking y'all to make them bitches pay rent. Start paying some bills and then we can have a conversation about who the fuck I bring in my house. Help me understand how my son gets arrested for assault. Tamika, I told you you too soft on the boy. Greg, shut Greg. your ass up. You don't Stop. fucking speak. Kyrie. You don't talk. Cut it out. Mama, you need to train him to only speak when he is Stop. spoken to. Okay, enough, Kyrie. Why were you fighting at school? And it better be a good reason. Greg, I got this. He don't love his life. Stop. Greg, you don't love your life? Kyrie, start talking. Well, first of all, mama... Timmy Turner's fat ass thought it was okay to try and bully me because I had my do-rag on in class. So I picked up my desk and threw it at him. And now he is in a hospital and my son has a pending assault charge. You need to apologize to him and his mother and maybe she'll consider dropping the charges. His mother should be arrested for child abuse. She clearly is stuffing his fat ass 10 meals a day. Go to your room. Kyrie, what did I tell you about going to my room and touching my charger without asking? You told me to start asking you first, but I'm not doing that because you weren't using it. So I just helped myself. Um, I don't like it's home right now. I don't give a fuck about what you don't like. The next time you go in my room and get my charger without asking, it's going to be an issue. I mean, it could be an issue right now if you want. Boy, you don't want none of these problems right now. Stay the fuck out of my room because we both know I will fade your ass and all you're going to do is go cry to mama. I'm not going to stay out of your room and these problems you say I don't want, I want all of them right now. You ready, ho? Come here. Stop, sweet bitch. Stop, sweet, 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 sweet bitch. You hit like a bitch, nigga. You hit like a bitch, nigga. Move, 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 move. Oh, no. Go ahead and finish, because y'all both going to have to fight me next. Mama, this is Miss Vanessa. And uh, Miss Vanessa, this is my mother, Tamika. Savannah, I didn't ask you to introduce us. I asked you why she in my house. <laughs> I'm Versace's mom, the girl that your son impregnated, and the only reason why I'm here is to find out what type of grown-ass woman threatens a 17-year-old girl. My sons, they sneak a lot of whores in my home. They all get threatened. My daughter is no whore. She's the mother of your grandchild, and I'd like to know why you haven't bothered to meet your grandchild yet. Your daughter's name is Versace, and she named the child Louis Vuitton. I'm still waiting for a DNA test on the handbag. Tamika, you are one sorry excuse for a mother. You are not going to threaten my daughter and think I'm not going to say anything about it, okay? Bitch, I'm you not got one more time to disrespect me, and I'm going to mop No, you know what's going to get okay? mopped with you. I, it's going to get mopped with you. You know okay? what? I just see you and your son in court. How about that? How about it, bitch? Fuck out of my house, and make sure you had a whole high school football team in court, too. So, Greg, we snitching now? You a little snitch bitch now? What the fuck are you talking about? Well, Greg, our mother has obtained information on something that happened while she was at work that only the three of us knew about. You were also here that day, too. Man, I ain't got to explain shit to y'all's last. Like yes, the fuck you do. I ain't got to explain yes, shit. Now, Savon, you 18 now, so we can handle this like grown-ass men if you want to. 
Greg, this is not. <laughs> Greg, don't get your. This is not energy that you want. Right now. This ain't what you want. And Greg, your first mistake is thinking that you're gonna fight one brother and not have to fight the other two. Well, step around this motherfucker. I'm so sick of y'all's little asses and y'all soft ass mama. She still got y'all in a goddamn titty. Yeah, I said it. What's up? Uh, all three of y'all coming? Let's go. Let's go. So I know I got in town a day late, but boys, go ahead and tell grandma what y'all mama got y'all for Christmas. My mama got me a DNA test for Christmas. She got me some shoes for Christmas. Some shoes and a DNA test. Pam, after the year they've had, I just know my baby Kyrie got his PS5 for Christmas. I remember you telling me that you asked your mama for one. I did tell you that grandma. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Pam, Kyrie has been horrible this year. Brian hasn't been any better. And so we will get to your inconsistencies as a mother momentarily. Where is my great grandchild? I'm waiting for a DNA test. Mama, that is my son. Savon, we have been through this. So not I'm only proof. have you kept my son. No, from your son his hasn't been in their but lives. But you are now keeping Savon from seeing his son. I'm going to go ahead and invite myself to stay so I can oversee your mother and skills from this point on. Kyrie said his mom would be sneaking you in here when they're asleep. So I thought I'd get here 15 minutes early to meet this Gregory. Lady, who the hell are you? Well, I could be one or two things. I can be the person to let you walk out of here with your freedom attached and you never come back. Or I could be your worst fucking nightmare. <sighs> Lady, this ain't your Shh. house. What's that noise? Is that police sirens out here? I wonder what they'll think when they find an ex-con who recently just put his hands on his girlfriend's children and just pushed a 75-year-old woman against the stove. I'm still a little woozy. Oh, lady, I never touched you. Oh, Gregory, don't be ridiculous. I know that, but the police don't. You know what? This whole fucking family is fucking crazy. I'm out. Oh, Fuck you, old lady. Oh, not even in your dreams, bitch. Here you go. You must have a fucking death wish. Don't you ever in your fucking life throw some shit at me, Savon. And what the hell is this? It's the results of the DNA test you requested. You haven't opened it. You want me to be the first one to open it? I'm confident. What you got your homeboy in here is moral support. That's cute. Trying to save you the embarrassment, son. What's it say, mama? Savon, you got me fucked up! You really went out here and made me somebody fucking grandmother? I'm still taking parenting classes and coming to terms with the fact that God had the audacity to allow me to get pregnant three times and you go and pull this shit! Oh, Savon, I cannot wait to come over here when I heard the news. What's my great-grandbaby? Oh, grandma, you gonna have to ask my mama where my son is. Tamika. That was real fucking cute, Savon. COVID. I don't know where the baby mama has been. I don't know who Bullshit. she's been around. I... Give it up, Tamika. You're still trying to hold on to your youth, which you lost when you decided to have three boys your whole oh time God. in high grandma, school. Stop. You're a fucking grandma you now. Stop. Get over it. Pam, who the fuck do you think you are? You've had several kids and several Obama. Can you please just meet my son and his mama? Tamika, you're already an unfit mother. Don't be an unfit grandmother, too. Pam, expire already. Mama! Fine, Savon. I will meet your trash-ass baby mama and her son. Mama, did you figure out when the baby and Versace can come over? Savon, leave me alone. I've been working and I've been tired. When I figure out a time and a date, you will be the first to know. Okay. Hey, mama, I gotta talk to you about something. Brian, please, my nerves are bad right now. If you about to tell me you got somebody pregnant. No, no, no. It's not that, mama. Um, I'm gay. <coughs> God, what's the issue? We got beef or something? You got, like, you gave me an unwanted grandchild, and now, how do you know? How do you know? Have you ever been with a man? Like, how do you know? How do you know, Brian? I have a boyfriend. Shit! You know what? I have an idea. Mama, how about you meet the boyfriend when you meet Versace and the baby? <laughs> you ready to see grandma?
Hej gamla. Is there a reason his diaper isn't changed? Wow, you're holding the baby and still talking shit. Bro, stop. No, because she's talking about our baby. And when did I sleep with the whole football team? That's what I want to know. And when did you have me removed from your premises? I'd like to see you do that again. You've been talking all this shit about how the baby isn't his. And Tamika, you put your hands on me, I swear you're going to jail. You put. put ah! Mom, stop! Mom! Now hand me his diaper bag. Hey, Ma. So my firstborn decides to have a baby on me. My middle child is confused about his sexuality. And now my baby boy is coming in my house after curfew. Mama Brian gay? Where the hell was you at, Kyrie? Mama, and do not lie. I was literally outside talking to one of my friends. You're so full of shit. Mama, I'm serious. I'm about to beat your ass. Wait, I got some information for you. Just hear me out. Now, I know you probably have forgiven Savon and accepted your grandson, but I just thought you should know that your grandson was conceived on your mattress. Also, all of Brian's homeboys that you let come over and spend the night, I'm starting to realize that they weren't just coming over here to play as PS5. God, y'all stay running up my light bill. Um, not y'all, that's Brian and his PS5. Savon, keep my name out your mouth. Mama, can you please meet my boyfriend this weekend? Which one of your little homeboys that you always have in my house is your boyfriend? <laughs> so you wanna go there? You really wanna go there? God, how did I not see it? Mama, can I go to my homeboy Jabari's house this weekend? Mama, can my homeboy Eric stay tonight? Which one of your little homeboys turned you out, Brian? His name is Trenton and I turned him out. Brian, get the fuck out of my kitchen. Oh my God, mama, other teens' parents accept them. Why can't you accept me? I'm not accepting the fact that my 16-year-old son is getting bent over by another boy. Ain't nobody bending me over. You know what, mama, don't even worry about it. I don't even want him to meet you at this point. Okay, I'm gonna keep this short and simple. Brian, I need you to allow your mother to process your sexuality her way, not by you forcing your boyfriend on her after you just came out to her. That's not how we do things, okay? And Tamika, it ain't you? no damn Tamika. Him and his brother have been doing too much to me. I'm about to fucking snap. Okay, Tamika, I don't give a fuck. After you've snapped though, I need you to snap the fuck back and accept your child for who he is. Just like you've accepted the fact that you're no longer just a mother, you're a grandmother too. <laughs> Pam, you're somebody's mother, grandmother, great grandmother, and sugar mama. Get the fuck up off me. You know what? I was going to wait until he popped up on your ass, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you now because I want to see you break a sweat, bitch. The boy's father is in town, and I've invited him over to see them. Grandma, you did what? <laughs> I'm going to jail. <laughs> What's going on, Mrs. Vanessa? Tamika, you put your hands on my daughter, bitch! You put your hands on my daughter? Come put your hands on me! Come put your motherfucking hands on me! What you going to do with it? What? Bitch! Uh, you put... Put your hands on my daughter, bitch! You my house, you ain't bitch! Stop! Fuck your daughter, bitch! Fuck your daughter, bitch! Bitch! You must have forgot, though. You must have forgot, though. Where you going, bitch? You must have forgot, bitch! Kyrie, what are you doing? What are you doing? My daughter! What are you doing? Kyrie! Oh, my goodness! Bro, come here and break it up! Come here! When all this is over, my mama is going to be mad at all parties involved. I still need her to meet Trenton. Uh, so you gave Miss Vanessa a concussion. Savon, I didn't ask you for any medical updates on that bitch. I was you know. I hope she falls to sleep with that concussion. I could have ended her entire existence, but instead I chose to give her a concussion and ask for her daughter, that fucking animal, had she gotten past your brother and touched me? Louis Vuitton would have been a motherless child right now. This is your fault. How is it my fault? Mama, be grateful this lady isn't pressing charges on you. Tell her to press them. Oh my God. You impregnated that endangered species and brought her and her hippopotamus looking ass mama in my house. It's your fault. Go get the door.